Scion or Subaru should have done this car in the beginning because it's so smooth. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Um, today on the FRS I'm going to be installing my Perrin, uh it's called a shifter bushing uh, for the rear rod. It basically connects to where the shifter goes. It's basically to help it uh, shift a little smoother and um, to help with uh, vibration. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to jack up the car. So let's get that started. So now that we got the car jacked up on uh, jack stands, uh, what you want to do, you want to go into the car, just to make sure it's in neutral. So now that it's in neutral, what we're going to do, we're going to go underneath the car and I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to be replaced. Alright, so now that we're under the car, um, basically what we're going to be replacing is this uh, right here, this bushing. Um, it's kind of hard to get to, but it's basically just two uh, 14 millimeters, and it connects up here to the shifter itself. So uh, I'm gonna take these uh, 14 millimeters off, and uh, I'll get back to you guys. All right. So a little side note: you're actually gonna have to take uh, the drive shaft two bolts out. They're a 14 millimeter. Um, the ones that hold up the shifter, those are a 13 mil. So basically after you take this down, you'll be able to get in. I know you really can't see because of the light, but up there, you'll be able to take it out. So I got the old one out. So uh, let's go put the new one in. All right, so as you can see, this is the old OEM stock one that comes from the factory. And this is the parent mount that it comes with. You can tell basically the size difference. All right, so now that you guys saw the difference, um, I'm basically gonna grease it up and we're gonna put it back in. And um, I made a mistake. It's actually a 12 millimeter, not a 13 millimeter. So sorry for the confusion. All right, so now that I got everything bolted up and everything, um, you just wanna make sure that you run it through the gears just to make sure everything is all good. And honestly, it already feels better. So uh, let me bun this up and then we'll take it for a little test drive. All right, so now that we're in the car, let's take it for a test drive. Uh, first impressions, when I put it in first gear, it's smooth. Uh, usually first gear and second gear are the ones that always uh, kind of notchy. So uh, let's just take this around the neighborhood. But yeah, honestly, um, you can definitely feel the difference between uh, the OEM bushing for the shifter and I also have uh, the white line uh, transmission mount also. So those combined, they honestly feel amazing. Um, road noise, you know, it's, it is what it is with like the poly. So you know you're gonna get a little more vibration but if you don't mind that then you know this is the one to really go for um, but yeah like shifting it's so much smoother now and I love it like this is how Scion or Subaru should have done this car in the beginning because 
it's so smooth um, it's very tight um, I don't know if you guys uh, all have the same problems I did I mine's a 2016 and um, I used to uh, have problems in like first gear and like second gear you know like I like a cold start and uh, whatnot but yeah like it's not notchy anymore like it used to be and like shifting it's so much smoother now um, but yeah so let me uh, just break these in and uh, I will meet you back at the house all right so we went on the test drive and everything and uh, honestly I love it um, they definitely feel a lot better than uh, the OEM ones and uh, I definitely do recommend anybody that uh, is looking to stiffen up their uh, shifter and um, their trans Oop, there we go um, I would recommend this um, I'll put the link down low uh, which ones I got um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video remember to like comment and subscribe have a good day oh and also I do have more um, pieces or parts to put on my car um, I'm just waiting on a couple more things so I have the stance coilovers and I also have the Megan Racing uh, tie rods so expect a video for those uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this like I just said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.